Leading up to the election, I kind of thought she has it. There's no way that we would vote someone in the highest office who openly admitted to sexually harassing women and mocks a disabled person. I just knew the American public would do the right thing. CNN projects Donald Trump wins the presidency. After that, I sunk really low. I was hurt. I was angry. There was so much at stake. That's when I started to conceptualize the idea. I can't just wait and see what happens. If he can do it, then I know that I can do it. So can I count on your vote on November 7th? Yeah. All right, awesome. When I first announced that I was running for the House of Delegates seat, a lot of people told me that um, I wasn't going to win. They said I was a joke, that it would never happen, and that I was wasting my time, and I loved it. <laughs> my name is Jennifer Carroll Foy, and I'm running for the House of Delegates seat. By all statistics, I should have definitely lost the primary. My opponent outraised me by $100,000, had every elected official endorsement. I always knew that I couldn't control those things, but I could control how hard I worked, and I made it a point to talk to as many people as I could and I won by only 14 votes. A lot of people don't know that I was pregnant during the entire campaign with not one, but two babies. Alex and Xander were born several months early. I call them my miracle twins. So they're actually now in the neonatal intensive care unit for about 12 weeks now. I never considered dropping out of the race. I knew that some people might have questions. Can she do it? Should she do it? I had those conversations with the person who mattered, which was my husband. I swear you can get like cribs like pre-assembled or something <laughs> delivered to the house. It's about the experience. The experience? <laughs> it's an overrated experience at this point. I haven't heard anybody say, man, I sure enjoy putting that crib together. I ain't have you. I don't know. I think the American public is ready to take a chance on someone who doesn't have the typical political experience. I went to Virginia Military Institute. It was a all-male college, and I was in the third class of females to be admitted. It was definitely a wake-up call, being an African-American woman going to a very Southern school. And one of the first days, they shave your head. Someone walked behind me, and he leaned over and he whispered in my ear and he said, welcome to VMI, bitch. I held my head up and I swallowed it and I said, not today. This tear will never fall. You'll never see it. Now I am a public defender. Most of my clients are children, people with substance abuse issues, mental illness, and, and of course, the chronically poor. I've dedicated my life to public service and I just saw this as a natural extension of what I've already been doing. because I'm running for the House of Delegates seat in Prince William and Stafford. I don't want to take up much of your time, but I fundraising has to be one of the most challenging parts of running for office. As a woman, you're going to be donated to less and less often. So be ready to sell yourself up. Hi. Yes, may I speak to Mr. Anderson? Hello? Don't worry about saying I don't want to take up too much of your time mm -hmm. because in the time you've done that, okay. you've already taken up extra time. Okay. Let's try yeah. To support Democrats. Hi, yes, this is Jennifer Carroll Foy. I know that you have a history of supporting Democrats, and I was calling to see if you'd be willing to support our campaign with a $100 donation. Oh, okay, well, thank you, sir. I greatly appreciate it. Whoa, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Hi, may I speak to Abdel, please? How are you doing this evening? I'm good, thanks for asking. I am calling tonight because we're going to be canvassing here in District 2 and we actually have transportation set up from D.C. into the district. Can I ask you some debate prep questions? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, just pre pretend I'm a reporter. What do you think of your opponent, Mike Mackey? I don't think of him. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> 
Um, what are you going to do <laughs> to improve the education of our children here in Prince William? Hmm. One of your strongest education responses is mm -hmm. talking about inequity mm -hmm. and then how you're going to fix that. Okay. We have one area of the county that there's million dollar high schools being built with Olympic sized pools and another side of the county have second graders going to bathrooms at outhouses and trailers at almost every school. So that's something I'm talking to school board members about. I will be working to make sure that these things happen. Mm -hmm. That was really strong. Thank you. You'll probably get an animal rights question from yeah. an audience member. Will you support a bill to prohibit the keeping of primates and constrictor snakes as pets? That's a thing. And a vote for Jennifer Carol Foy is a vote for a better uh, second district. I'll f figure out how to wrap that up. This is horrible. It okay. might be more than two minutes. So I have to get it down. I don't know how I'm going to get it down. This is a lot. Okay. I'm a little nervous about tonight. You never know what to expect, so that has me a little unnerved. See, to be a guy and just throwing a suit and jacket would be great right now. agenda is to privatize everything we possibly can with regard to police shootings one possible solution is to privatize police i support community policing body cams and retraining to have de-escalation skills rising medicaid costs continue to eat in our virginia's budget where are you going to cut whose taxes are you going to raise we have already paid for the expansion of Medicaid here in Virginia. That's what a lot of people don't know. Not only that, but we have foregone $5 billion by not expanding Medicaid. People are dying because of partisan politics. We have to pass Medicaid expansion so people can afford to go to see a doctor. It's that simple. Thank you. Yeah. You proud of me? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. It's starting to hit me, but yes, no timeouts uh, between now and November 7th. Gotta make it happen. Hashtag no sleep. <laughs> We are eight points up over our opponent, which is great. But we're not quite at 50%, so we need to still make up 3% of the vote and also not lose anybody. It could be possible that we would lose a lot more mm -hmm. in Stafford that this poll is picking up. Oh, okay. I mean, 2016, all the polls are wrong, people lied. I'm a little worried that they'll claim to be undecided until the very end, but they'll never tell you who they're picking to vote for. But like, those are the people who broke for Donald Trump last year, which is why it's really scary that Mike Mackey is mailing to a bunch of Democrats because yeah. he wants our votes. Yeah, well, I mean, it makes sense. The Republican incumbent only won the seat by 125 votes. Can't let a good poll let us get too comfortable. Jeff and I are gonna go see his brother and be at the hospital to probably about uh, midnight or one o'clock, come back here, take a two hour nap, three hour nap, then head out, go put up uh, campaign signs. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Jennifer Carol Foy running to become your new delegate. Would you like a democratic sample ballot? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I can't go past this line. 
Thank you, ma'am. It all comes down to turnout. It's all about whether our people show up in the rain or or not. Yeah. And so hopefully we've done enough work that people know that there's an election and that they have to vote today. Yeah. Hi, great, great. Thank you. Nice. It's nice to meet you. I just wanted to say that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, this is it. Just a couple more hours. I know. Yeah. Hi. I'm Jennifer Carol Foy. I'm running to become your new delegate. And I'm Mike McKee, the <laughs> opponent. So I think someone uh, tipped my opponent that I was here at this location. Thanks for coming out. I'm Mike McKee. Yeah. That's why I was strategic with my signage this morning, because I knew that they would understand by my signs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a war, baby, and we're going to win. All our Muslim community vote for you. Nice, great. Thank you. Big victory. <laughs> yes, sir. You. This is what we've been building up to. All the sleepless nights, 18 hour days, and the phone calls, and the phone banking, the texting, like it's all for this. But you got my vote. I so appreciate it. Thank We're you. at that thank pinnacle. You, We're you. at that moment. We just hope and pray that everything pays off. <laughs> the time is 7 o'clock. The polls are now closed. women storming into Virginia state government. Of the more than a dozen Republican seats flipped, 11 were won by women. It's a massive landslide. Even the smartest people in politics never saw this coming. This would make me very uncomfortable if I were a Republican running in 2018. Yeah. Thank you. 